Hi, this video is designed for both experienced Hadoop users who want to test Hadoop on HD Insight and the new Hadoop users who want to learn Hadoop on HD Insight. The HD Insight sample gallery is a good place to start because the samples are self-explanatory and using the gallery I can get a working application in just a few minutes. In this video, I'll show you how to create a Hadoop application on HD Insight to analyze Twitter trends using Apache Hive. This is the Azure Management Portal. Here, you can see a list of HD Insight clusters under my Azure subscription. These can be Hadoop clusters, HBase clusters, or Storm clusters. I open a cluster where I want to run the Twitter sample. A cluster is required for running the gallery samples. The Query Console button on the bottom of the dashboard page leads me to the sample gallery. There are six samples, with more coming soon. The sample I like to demonstrate with is the Twitter Trend Analysis sample. On the left, it shows the procedure list. The introduction page outlines the technology involved, Hive, and the business scenario. The prerequisites listed here, including Excel and Hive ODBC driver, are for data reporting purposes. They are only required for step 8 in this tutorial. In practice, I might have a stream service using the Twitter API to pull tweets and save them to the Azure Blob storage. This article shows how to write a Twitter streaming service. The title is Analyze Twitter Data with Hadoop in HD Insight. HD Insight uses Azure Blob Storage instead of the HDFS on the clusters. This is the major difference between HD Insight and the traditional Hadoop. For more information, see this article. For this gallery sample, some tweets have already been saved to a JSON file on the default Azure Blob Storage container for the cluster. The URL is on screen now. Within the URL, HDIH Base Store is the Azure storage account, and My HBase Cluster is the blob storage container that is used as the default storage container. And the path is HDI samples forward slash Twitter trends sample data. I can use File Browser to check the content of the file on Azure Blob Storage. Each tweet is a JSON string. Back to the sample. Steps 4, 5 and 6 explain the Hive queries that I'll run. I'll run the queries together during step 7. Step 4 is to create a Hive table to store the raw tweets in JSON. Notice the Hive table only contains one field storing the JSON string. Step 5 is to transform the data in the raw tweets table into a queryable Hive table. First, I create a new Hive table. Notice that this table contains a field for each of the tweet properties. Then I pass the JSON string and store the values into the new Hive table. Step 6 is to create a third table called HDI Sample Top Users to store the top 10 users who sent the most tweets containing the keyword Azure. Step 7 lists the combined Hive queries. Submit the queries. The status column shows the most recent status. I wait until the status shows completed. Now, I've pretty much completed the sample. I can run a Hive select statement to display the results. By clicking the job name, it shows me the Hive query, job output, and job log. Job output shows the results that I want. Step 8 shows how to import the data into Excel, the prerequisites we mentioned earlier. In addition to the sample gallery, you can also find a lot of information from azure.microsoft.com. Search the keyword HD Insight. And that's all there is to it. Thank you for watching.